All right, guys, it's time for another donation unboxing. This one comes from Radio Control 360. He said that he had some aluminum hex hopes to send to me for Jester. And I said, heck yeah. <laughs> well, this box is a little bit bigger than it needs to be for just hex hubs. So I'm pretty sure he sent me something else, but I have no clue what's in there. As tradition goes, I have opened it, but I have not looked inside of there. So let's go ahead and dive in and see what's inside this box. Ooh, I already see some stickers. Gotta love the stickers. 1A1. I wonder what that means. Got the letter on top. I'll read that afterwards. And red bubble wrap. I've never seen red bubble wrap before. Oh, wow. We got a lot of things in here. <laughs> oh, man, dude. You went out. All right, now let's see what we have in here. We've got some parts for 116th E-Revo, or well, actually any of the 116th. We've got some shock bodies. Looks like the servo saver. We have some stickers. Always love stickers. I figure out what to do. I have a ton of numbers, but I don't know how to, what to use them for. What is this? Oh! Oh my gosh, does it have antenna too? <gasps> you are kidding me, dude! Oh! Oh! 2.4 gig, oh! Yes! That is so freaking awesome! Enjoy, oh yeah, I'm enjoying. <laughs> See, that's what my face looks like right now. <laughs> That is freaking awesome, man. Oh, it's a TQ one. That means, oh, you know what I need this for is uh, Banshee, because Banshee's sporting the two or 27 megahertz. Oh, gosh, it's so freaking cool. That is awesome, man. You already went way beyond <laughs> what you said. Oh, that is so cool. All right, we got some black shock springs, of course. That's awesome. You know, I think I'm really starting to get to the point where I need to build a summit. One sixteenth summit, not a full size one. But yeah, I have a ton of parts for it, so now gosh, we have servos in here too. Holy crap, 28 steering. <laughs> Dude! This is so freaking awesome. And yep, there's the hex subs he was talking about. They are blue. That's no problem. I can easily deanodize them. Oh wow, these are small. And yeah, with these ones, it's really, really hard to find the ones that have the grub screw to keep these on. So they're gonna fall off with the tire, but I need these on Jester. Especially with the power that little thing is pumping out and those tires, I do not want to ruin. So this is a must have. I've been wanting to get these for a while. Thanks a ton, man. Yep, that's me again. <laughs> that is so freaking cool. Man, these are new. I thought you said they were used or... They might be used, but they look like they're in really good shape. Let me see here. We have a motor fan wire. Always can use those, believe me. Then an empty bag. No, there's stuff in here. Oh, we got bushings. Plastic bushings. Yep, I believe me, I can always use the bushings too. And the spur gear, dang man! This is so freaking cool! Now that I think about it, I don't have any extra spur gears or pinion gears for Jester at all. Well, I wonder what tooth it is. See, I'm completely lost when it comes to the teeth for the gears on a 1 16th model. I am really lost with that. Oh, that is so freaking awesome! And we have something else in here. Feels like it. You what? Oh! What? Oh! Oh man! <laughs> <laughs> Dude! Really? Oh, that is freaking awesome! Oh, I'm wow. 
Oh man, are you kidding me? Oh, and I take it this is already bound to it. That is freaking awesome. Oh man. Wow, dude, you. Oh. <laughs> that one caught me completely off guard. Gosh, this thing looks brand new, dude. Any batteries? There's even batteries in there. Whoosh. Oh, come on, you can turn on. Turn on for, oh, yes. Oh, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna be doing with this one. Um, wow. Well, I think I'm gonna go ahead and put this in Banshee. Uh, Deimos, I would like to use a Fly Sky for him, so I need to get a Fly Sky receiver for him, but, oh, Banshee, that means I can get rid of that stupid antenna. Oh, this is so freaking awesome. Wow. Simply wow, man. Let's go ahead and check out that letter. Wait, anything else in the box? I'm pretty sure that's it. That's more than enough, man. That is so freaking awesome. Oh, yeah. Let's check out this letter. Okay. What's up, Jason? As you may see, there's a lot more stuff in the box than we said. Freaking awesome, man. <laughs> That is so freaking cool. Oh, gosh. Now, this one doesn't have the extra features on there. It's a 50-50. You can't adjust it. Here, actually, I'll just show you what I'm talking about. Because I have the one for Demon right here. But you can see all the features that they remove from it to make it cheaper. However, the quality of just having a 2.4 gigahertz far surpasses the 27 megahertz believe me guys but yeah they get rid of the whole extra knob you have the steering throttle on there or the steering trim which is all i really need you don't have the 70 50 50 that's why i would like to go ahead and use this for banshee because the servos have to stay at 50 50 because all the servos are pretty much tuned manual or mandatory to be a certain way for them to work the engine right. So this, that's freaking awesome, man. Well, let's <laughs> get back to the letter. I'm just like, <gasps> it's so freaking cool, man. Let me explain some of this stuff. There is aluminum hex hubs for Jester, as I said, and really good condition. Oh yes, man, that's so awesome. Let me see here. Next, there is some bell crank bushings for the Traxxas 116 3 Evo. There's an extra wire for Jester's motor fan. There is a 2080 servo in there. The gears need replacing. They are stripped. That is awesome because I have gears left over from my broken servos, so I'll be able to fix that. So, awesome. That's going to be up and running soon. I really should probably go ahead and build a summit. What do you guys think? Should I build a summit? Do I need another RC? Ugh. <laughs> Okay, let me see here. Uh, da, 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 da. There's some um, black 116 shock springs. The old ones sometime wear out. Yep. There is a 45, 45 tooth spare gear that is great for heavy off roading with the Traxxas 116 models. Awesome. Well, I'm always off roading for, with gestures, so that's going to help out, believe me. And then there's some extra parts like the 116 shock bodies, 116 servo saver, and some stickers. And lastly, it's a TQ 2.4 gigahertz radio and receiver. It was stock on my Merv, but then I upgraded to a TQI, so I had this lying around. Keep making good videos, Radio Control 360. Oh man, that is so freaking awesome, dude. Thank you so, so very much. This is, wow. You completely made my day. <laughs> and yes, I will keep making videos. I'm not going anywhere. I know there's been a few people lately who have been selling their RCs. Actually, a lot of people selling their RCs. And some of them who've already admitted to me that they're falling out of the YouTube RC thing. But I have no plans of doing that myself. I, for all I know, am going to be making videos for a long, long time yet to come. Not to mention, I still have so many things I want to do with my RCs. Thank you very much, Radio Control 360. Thank you.